we've been around for 10 years. We've closed in between then, had to tear the park down and move it, and now we're in this new location, and it's pretty much a worry-free building. Since I was 13, I've always built ramps in my driveway, built ramps for other people, and I always had a lot of kids come over and just ride whatever I built. One thing led to another, and I was just like, man, I bet if I put more of these things up, that I get a whole ton of people to come out and ride them. I've had people come from almost every state in the U.S. I had a guy here from Australia, actually, which is pretty crazy, and the dude from Japan, which I don't know how they heard about us, but somehow they did. <laughs> you know, good thing about this park and other parks is you get to see kids come in here when they're seven, eight years old, and then as the years go by, you know, and the time they're 12, 13, and the stuff that they've done and improved on, it's just like, it's, it's kind of rewarding to know that, you know, something that I built had enabled them to progress like how they have and it's just it's a good feeling. You know, it's good because if it's snowy or rainy or extremely hot, you can always come inside here and do what you got to do. I mean, the difference between here and, you know, outside somewhere is the cops ain't going to... I was going to say shit with you, but I probably going to put that out there. <laughs> Bring your bike, skateboards, rollerblades, scooters, I don't know, anything you want to have fun on that has wheels and bearings. Thanks for checking us out.